Okay, so if you haven't seen the stories by now, <laughs> we have made our way to the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel. So we are ending the night with a light show on the Hard Rock Guitar mm-hmm. Hotel. And I'm pretty excited about that because Me too. we've just been looking at it all week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, she looks at it more than all week. But three I've, years. I've been looking at it all week. I've been looking at it for three years. <laughs> yeah. So I'm excited to see this light show. So I'm going to record it so you guys can see it. And maybe it'll motivate you guys to come and check out the area. Now, don't stay at Sears because that's my spot. <laughs> but you can come and stay at the hotel. Okay. All right. <laughs> So being that this was my last day in town, Cheryl and I decided that we were going to go and do our favorite thing, which would be have happy hour margaritas and Mexican food at the place across the street from the house. This led to the decision to go to Hard Rock. Now, we sit at Cheryl's apartment and look at Hard Rock out of the window, but we never actually go there. So for us, this was something that we had to do. It was an attainable goal and it was something that we had to do because this is the trip of trying to do things, right? So that's what we did. We went to Hard Rock. So once we got to Hard Rock, one thing we did notice is all the memorabilia. So we decided to go around and explore, see what we can find. And then one of the guests at the casino told us that there was a light show at 9 p.m. So we decided to get in line and go see the light show. It was a walk, a far walk, behind the hotel, behind like the major pool area, and the light show was on the guitar-shaped part of the hotel. So this is where we sat and watched the light show. Now, we will say that it took them forever to start this show. Uh, but once they started it, it was pretty interesting, to say the least. There is a lot of um, copyrighted music in this video, so what I'm going to do is mute the track and put my own music over top of it so you guys can see um, the light show. So, here we go.
<laughs> Listen, I know I'm going to make it better than what it was. But it was very lackluster. It was a little underwhelming. It was underwhelming. Ah, uh, you know they got the money. It's a casino. It's a casino. <laughs> they could have put some speakers back here. They could have did something. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, we're gonna bid you guys good night. Thank you for coming with us or with me on my solo travel vlog. And thank you for Cheryl for hosting me. I appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. You're welcome back. Anytime. Yay! All right, Brandon, book my tickets. I'm coming back. <laughs> All right. Now, I am not the one for solo exploration. I do not travel solo on my own. But what I will say is everyone needs a break. Everyone needs self-discovery. So if you are in the position, take a trip by yourself. Go visit a friend. Go explore a new city. Go explore a new town. I found out a lot about myself just being there. I found out it's okay to be by myself sometimes. I found out it's also okay to want to be around people and enjoy their company. Being alone is not always a bad thing but sometimes spending that quality time and learning who you are is better than never doing it so i suggest to everyone out there go have a solo trip go visit a friend even when you're at the friend's house go off on your own and do new things try something for yourself because you never know who you are what you're like and what you're going to discover when you're out there exploring the world thank you guys for joining me on this momcation hopefully there will be some more solo travel coming very very soon but in the meantime i appreciate you all for watching this we will see you next time bye fam